morning, everybody. My name is Amy Yates. This is Scott, Nikki, and Linda is joining us as well. We are from the 515 Research Methods class, and we have been currently working with the Village of Washington Park and Darissa Davis in the creation of a community garden in Washington Park called the Tiny Children's Garden. We've also been in close collaboration with Ben and the Iris Center in the development of digital tools. Um, and the digital tools are the website. Um, we've also used Google My Maps, Facebook, and other various resources. So to start, I'm going to show. We're going to start with a little video about the garden. The Tiny Children's Garden is a project brought to the Washington Park community by Dorissa Davis, the garden's creator, Professor Connie Fry Spurlock, and her students from Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. So, what's our story? Professor Connie and students at SIUE partnered with Miss Davis to make part of her dream for the Village of Washington Park a reality by doing sociology. But first, what is sociology? Generally, sociology is the field that studies societies, social relationships, interactions, developments, and much more. A sociologist is someone who studies groups of people and use what they learn to make the world a better place. Public sociology is a type of sociology and a way of using research to answer questions that matter to the community, like the folks over at the Society pages. Bloggers there provide sociological commentary on advertisements, charts, graphs, and other images from around the world. By doing so, they help community members develop their own sociological understandings. Professor Connie and her students are doing public sociology by dedicating their course research to answer the Washington Park community question, how can we secure fresh vegetables and fruits for our community? The tiny children's garden is the answer to that question. Let's move to the next question. What made us create the tiny children's garden? We created the garden to improve the quality of life for the community residents by building a community garden that will provide fresh and healthy food for community members. It helps to beautify the land. It ensures a sustainable solution that secures the community's needs and stays for generations to come, as well as providing an ongoing learning process for the community that is both useful and fun. At the garden, community members can watch their healthy crops grow while old friendships grow stronger and new friendships are made. Creating the garden will help Professor Connie and her students hone their sociological skills in a way that benefits the village of Washington Park. At Tiny Children's Garden, we plant for our community's growth. Follow us on Facebook, The Tiny Children's Garden, on Instagram at tinysgarden618, or visit us at iris.siue.edu slash ttcg. So on our website, um, the first tab is the blog. This is where the students have create, we relay the information that we gather in class from readings and discussions, and we put it on here, and this way the community members can visit this and see what we're working on and the way that we're planning on helping them, or the way that they can, so they know what we're working on as well as what they can leave comments on what they think, that they, or tells what they want as well. Um, the one only, the only issue we've noticed is that some of the um, responses aren't immediate. We have to go in and approve them beforehand. And then um, the next tab is our children's corner. And on here we have different crafts and activities for kids to do that are um, garden related. And then we'll be putting on some um, like holiday themed crafts and stuff as well. The next tab is the contact us, and that's pretty self-explanatory. That's how you can get a hold of the Tiny's Children Garden and the different links to the different social media platforms. Under the gallery tab is a compilation of the different um, photos that have been taken during the site cleanup days. They will scroll through or you can click through them and it just shows the different volunteers that have been there. And this will also be a good place for us to show a before and after once the garden itself is complete. The next tab is map, and we're going to skip over that for just a minute, and we're going to go to the news tab. This is where all of the news articles written about the garden are going to be housed, um, and these are from both the Alestal reports and also the Intelligencer have news stories on there. And then our resources is one of the larger tabs, or it will be, 
It's going to have the recipes where community members and anyone can go and get the recipes to utilize the vegetables that will be grown in the gardens, as well as, uh, and then the grants tab is where homeowners can go to look up information about grants that they can take advantage of, as well as any grants that are pending or approved for the community itself. Gardening will house tips and how-tos for gardeners. And then the community partners page will be listed any businesses and communities that contribute and donate to the, um, to the garden itself. So now we'll go back to the map. For this map, we utilized the Google My Maps. So this shows the village of Washington Park is outlined in yellow. And the dark green pin on the left-hand side is where the garden itself is located. So we see that's really close to the border of Washington Park and East St. Louis. And if you click on what was nice about the Google My Maps is you can click on the different layers and it'll show you, it'll pop up with different colored pins. So you can pinpoint exactly where the restaurants are, where the churches are, where convenience stores are, and you can kind of map out your route and know exactly how far away different things are. On those pins, whenever you click on one, it'll show you the address, the phone number if it's available, the website if they have one, and hours of operation. The information on each pin just kind of depends on what was available publicly as well as what type of business it is. The other thing that we, and also you can, once you're in the map, you can click on the view in regular Google Maps and it'll take you to all the other information that Google has, as, such as like the directions, reviews, and photos. The last piece of digital media that we've really been using is social media. Um, with Facebook, this is our Facebook page. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here is where we will post um, different cleanup events or activities that we're doing with Darissa. This was from Wednesday. We went and did an apple tasting with um, three of the classes from the school Darissa teaches at, and the kids really loved that. Our Facebook page has reached over 2,000 people. We have over 250 followers from three different countries and over 30 cities. 70% of our followers are women, and, 100 and over 140 people have been actively engaged in our Facebook posts. Any questions?